Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs that gained popularity through their use in movies. Each one of us is a brain, and an athlete, and a basket case. For this list, we'll be looking at songs that either became popular after being used in a film, or were popular before and found a second wave of popularity after appearing in a movie. Which songs did you discover through movies? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. I've had the time of my life. Dirty Dancing. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Probably the two most iconic things to come out of Dirty Dancing and inject themselves into the popular culture is the demand to never put baby in a corner. And the lift which is completed successfully in the final I've Had the Time of My Life dance number. Would the song have been a hit sans the movie? Maybe. But there's no doubting the fact that its use in the film, especially during an iconic moment, raised its profile and popularity to another level. A great example of this came in the UK when the song reached number six on the chart after the film's release. And four years later, it went back up to number eight following the movie showing on television. Number nine, Staying Alive, Saturday Night Fever. Stayin' Alive was a huge hit for the Bee Gees and might be their most recognisable song. But did you know it wasn't even the first single released off the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack album? That honour went to How Deep Is Your Love. However, after the movie trailer came out with the song playing over that famous opening scene, fans started calling radio stations and record companies asking for Stayin' Alive. It was only then that the song became the next single, a month after the album's release. There's only one thing to do at a moment like this. Strut! Number 8. Unchained Melody. Ghost. Unchained Melody was written for a 1955 prison movie called Unchained, hence the song's title. And there have been over 1,500 recordings of the track since then. Your touch alone, lonely time. Including the 1965 version by the Righteous Brothers, which had become one of the most recognizable versions even before making its appearance in Ghost. Goes by so slowly. Although released as a B-side track, the song became a hit and reached number four on the Billboard charts. Cut to 25 years later, and Ghost becomes a hit and the highest grossing film of the year and Unchained Melody rides that wave right back onto the charts. Still more In fact, the Righteous Brothers recorded a new version of the song that year, and both versions ended up in the top 20 at the same time. And time Number 7, Eye of the Tiger, Rocky 3. Rocky 3 made Eye of the Tiger a huge hit, but the song never even would have been written had Queen not said no. You see, Sylvester Stallone, the writer, director and star of the film, originally wanted to use Queen's Another One Bites the Dust as the movie's theme song. Rising up. But the band said no. 
So Sly went to Survivor and asked them to write a song for the movie. And so I the Tiger was born and was released as a single the day after the movie hit theaters. The song would go on to spend six consecutive weeks atop the Billboard charts and 15 weeks in a row in the top 10. Number six, Moon River. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Moon River was composed by Henry Mancini with lyrics by Johnny Mercer and was written specifically for Audrey Hepburn to sing in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Moon River, wider than a mile. Mancini and Mercer looked back on songs she had sung in 1957's Funny Face and took her limited range into account when they wrote Moon River, and it became a classic American standard. Green. Maker, you heart breaker. And the song didn't just strike a chord with movie lovers, as it went on to win the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Two drifters off to see the world. It also won over music fans, taking home Grammys for Record of the Year and Song of the Year. River and me. Number 5. All Star, Shrek. All Star was the lead single from Smash Mouth's second album, 1999's Astro Lounge. The song was a hit and reached high up on music charts around the world. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on, go play. It even garnered the band a Grammy nomination for Best Pop Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals. The song gained further popularity that year with its inclusion in the film Mystery Men. Then, just two years later in 2001, it was used in the opening credits of Shrek. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on, go play which, as the band's bassist, Paul Delisle wrote about in his 2015 memoir, was inarguably the single most profound event in Smash Mouth history. <laughs> Number 4. Kiss Me. She's All That. Lady Boggs, get your cute butt down here! In August of 1998, Sixpence None the Richer released their song, Kiss Me. And in November of that same year, it broke through into the Billboard Hot 100 at 90. Kiss me out of the bearded barley lightly. The following week, it fell out of the top 100, but months later, in February of 1999, it re-entered the charts at 91 and over the next 11 weeks worked its way up to number 2. What happened, you ask? She's all that happened. Swing, swing. Not only did the film teach us that all a girl needs to do to be hot is take off her glasses and let her hair down, but it also made Kiss Me a hit song. Strike up the band and make the fireflies dance, silver moon sparkling. So kiss me. Number 3. Don't You Forget About Me, The Breakfast Club. See you next Saturday. The song became a number one hit for Simple Minds, but not only did they not write it, they didn't even want to record it. The song was written by Keith Forsey and Steve Schiff, a producer on The Breakfast Club and a rock guitarist respectively. Tell me your troubles and doubts, giving me everything inside and out of they wrote it with simple minds in mind, but the band turned down the offer the first time around. However, when a number of other artists turned down the gig, the band finally said yes, but had no expectation that it or the film would be anything special. Well, they were wrong on both counts. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, don't. Even when the song is used in other films, the connection to The Breakfast Club is often still part of the iconography. Not as 
you know I love this song? I guessed. Number two, Bohemian Rhapsody, Wayne's World. It isn't quite cat territory, but Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen has an impressive four lives since its birth back in 1975. I think we'll go with a little Bohemian Rhapsody, gentlemen. Good call. The song was a hit upon its release and hung out atop the UK music charts for nine weeks. Mama, just killed a man. Then, in 1991, following the sad death of Freddie Mercury, the song had a second life, hitting the top of the charts for another five weeks. In the United States, the song had reached number nine in the charts back in 1976. I see a little silhouette of a man. Got a moose, got a moose, will you do the fandango? But after 1992's Wayne's World, the song not only rocketed the charts again, but it scaramouched its way all the way up to number two in the Billboard Hot 100. And yes, after the 2018 Queen biopic, the song popped again. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. See you again, Furious 7. The song, written to honor Paul Walker, spent 12 non-consecutive weeks at number one. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Gangsters Paradise, Dangerous Minds. Two things everyone remembers from the movie, Gangsters Paradise and Michelle Pfeiffer. Old time rock and roll, risky business. Tom Cruise slid across the floor and made this song a hit again. Oh yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It fit Ferris Bueller so perfectly, you probably thought it was written for the movie. He knows the mileage, Ferris. He doesn't trust you? Never has, never will. Mrs. Robinson, The Graduate, a song that seduced audiences everywhere. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, I will always love you, the bodyguard. Goodbye, Rachel. Bye, friend. While everyone knows I will always love you as the Whitney Houston song from the movie The Bodyguard, the track actually had a whole other life before Whitney got her hands on it. I'll think of you. Every step of the way. Written and recorded in 1973 by Dolly Parton, the song reached number one on the Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart in 1974. And it did it again when Parton re recorded the track for the film The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. And I As impressive a feat as that was, it was Houston's version of The Bodyguard that sent the song into the history books. Wait! And I... The song spent 14 weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100 and became the best-selling single by a female ever. And we will always love this song. And I will always love you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.